Hello, hello, my friends, and welcome back. Coming at you with some more Total War, some more Third Age. Yes, we're going to be doing a new campaign. I'm not abandoning the old campaigns. You're going to see a lot more of them in the near future because I've got absolutely bananas for Total War recently. I've downloaded a ton of new mobs, so you're probably going to see some battles and probably some new historical battles. I'm going to be doing some research for some Warhammer historical battles using Call of Warhammer, which is going to be really cool. You might not also see a campaign for that. I haven't quite decided if I want to do a campaign for that just yet. I might want to play around with it a little more to sort of get a feel for the game before I start up a campaign. But you're definitely going to see a campaign for Westeros Total War. It is a sadly underrepresented mod, and it has recently received a cease and desist order on the uh, Total War set Center forum, so it's not going to be available from there for much longer. Uh, and as sort of a show of solidarity, and also because... You know, Fuck you, Mr. Martin's lawyers. This is a fantastic mod, and it should not be shut down. We're going to be doing a campaign, and we are going to uh, probably be playing as the Dornish, I think. But we'll see about that. I've been playing around with the factions the last uh, last couple days, so I'm trying to find out kind of what I like the most. But I think we're going to be going uh, for the Dornish for reasons that I will explain in the introduction to that campaign. Uh, so yes, we're playing as the we are playing as the Sylvan Elves, and our character like our. RP concept for this campaign is going to be that we are isolationists. So we, what that means is that we're only going to engage in diplomacy and trade with um, uh, other elven factions. So if we have like trade agreements and whatever with Dale and the dwarves right off the bat, I haven't played a campaign with these guys in a long time, so I don't really know uh, sort of what their starting position is like in terms of uh, relations with the other factions around them. But if we have any trade agreements, we're just going to break them immediately, and we're just going to start taking... Uh, back the forest we're going to push Mordor out first and we what may end up happening is because I'm going to try and create a great forest empire we might end up fighting the elves of Lorien and probably everybody else because I'm sure that will piss off all the good factions so we're going to see how this goes it's going to be a crazy battle so we, or a crazy campaign so we don't want any battle time limit I've uh, been playing on very hard very hard and we're going to be doing a <laughs> Yeah, we're going to do a long campaign because the rules aren't terribly different for the uh, short campaign either. So yes, here we are. I hope you guys enjoy. Alrighty, here we are. Uh, do we want these? Sure, they make things interesting. Uh, we'll do earlier invasions, that'll keep us on our toes. Play with garrison script. Yes, we definitely want that, because otherwise the, the uh, AI factions will just crumble under the weight of one another. Uh, resurrect allied factions? No, because we're not going to have too many allies, so it doesn't really matter. Diplomacy script? Uh, we're not going to run that. Uh, mysterious documents? No. Uh, rune documents, no. Saruman's forces, most definitely. Rude our warriors, yes. Uh, immortal heroes. No, we want our heroes to actually mean something. Uh, captured messages, no, I don't care. Uh, counter invasions, absolutely. Just because it's fun to to do that, not because I actually care about what's going on in the rest of Middle Earth. Uh, restore the Elven Kingdoms, yes. Corsair invasions, yes. Reforge Ornar, no. Immortal Nazgul, sure. Eastern Shadows, most definitely. Mordor's Call, yes. Proximus' Diplomatic Meetings! Uh, next air. Blah, blah. Enable Sauron's counterattack. Cool, we'll do that. 
All right. So we start off here with not a whole lot of stuff. Let's, let's see. Can we make a diplomat? We're going to want to make one of those. And uh, we're going to send him off to distant lands to our elven cousins. We're going to start forging some alliances on that front. The only alliances we're probably going to have, and who knows how long we're going to keep them for. Uh, we don't really need a stables at the moment. And we will train up a unit of these guys. Sire. What do we want to do with Legolas in the meantime? Can he actually get there? Oh, yes, he did. So we took a settlement, so our economy is doing a little better than otherwise would have been. Uh, let's make some of those, and we are already out of money, aren't we? Mm. Well, let's start exploring the regions around us, because I want to make this entire, like, basin that's enclosed by the mountains that's all forest. I want to make that mine. I want to, yeah, forge a big forest empire for the Sylvan Elves. Reclaim our former glory. We're going to crush anyone that stands in our way. So that's going to do for the first turn, I think, yeah, there we go. Interesting, so we've been given a mission to take this, uh, yeah, come on, there we go. Protein take this little city up here for some free units, and you know what, why not? We're going to get our diplomat started on his journey over here first. I'm sure the Elves of Lorien are, <clears throat> I've already taken one of the towns in here, so it shouldn't be too, uh, too long of a trip, but we're going to... Let's see here. I'm gonna send. Yes, my lord. Hmm. For the light. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send these guys over here to take this fortress. And then we're gonna the shuffle them back over into Legolas's army. And we're gonna send our heavy archer unit over here to go and support our good friend here. Yes, my. Looks like there's some bandits that are hanging out outside the town. I guess they would have normally spawned inside the town, but we took it before they could get there. So. Now we're going to have to fight them if we want to get out of here. So we're going to have to amass some troops here. What do we got over here? Anything that we can build? Oh, yes, we do. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I forgot to mention one of the rules of this campaign. It's sort of like some house rules that I've just implemented for the sake of this campaign. Are uh, no catapults. There's no catapults in this at all. There's still ballistas and all that good stuff, but there's no catapults just because I didn't like having catapults in there. They were just, I felt like they were a little too easy to use. You can just, like, sick them on a unit and they'll, like, blow its face off in, like, two or three volleys. So, they are not available in this. They're still available in custom battles and stuff, just not in the campaign. But they're still ballistas, so you still have some siege options available to you outside of ladders and blah, 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 blah. Not really a whole lot we can do this turn. Yeah, we're just sort of slowly trying to get our forces into position here. What we need to do, I guess we should start turning our taxes down. Uh, yeah, we've done that there, too. So, what we need to do is you need to start gathering... A whole bunch of forces so we can start sweeping southwards and try and kick Mordor out of Dol Guldur and all that stuff. And just to take as many, take and uh, reinforce as many towns and settlements as we can along the way. Just so we can get our economy going so that we can actually wage a proper war against uh, the many, many foes that surround us. And while we're doing that, I'm going to start working on like some town halls and stuff maybe. Or not some town halls, the, uh, the taverns and whatever. Because we're going to need some spies to... Uh, uh, keep an eye on Dale's. You can see just up in the top of the map there, Dale's already going for a settlement that's just north of Thranduil's Halls, which is our territory, damn it. Even though it's not technically in the forest, it's still mine. So we may end up having to fight Dale early on, which could be fun. Could be a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, this is also going to be pretty cool for you guys because you get to see uh, all the armor upgrades and stuff that uh, are implemented in my submon for the uh, Sylvan Elves, who are probably one of the most changed factions of them all. So there's a lot of cool stuff to look forward to. You're going to get to see the armies just evolve over time and become a more professional, imposing-looking force as the campaign uh, progresses and we get more uh, armor upgrades and such available to us. So it's going to be really cool. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Anyway, this turn is taking forever, so I will see you guys in just a few moments. Hmm. Uh, well... No. That'll, uh... Bodyguard units are too expensive. That'll crush our economy Advance. before it's even Be gotten on its feet. Uh, relations worsen with, worsen with Mordor. That's fine. I don't like Mordor. What are we going for up here? Let's see. Uh, we're not going to retrain them because that just takes too much time. We're going to reinforce Prince Legolas here so we can uh, stage a breakout. Yes, my lord. If we're going to be without question. Okay, these guys are still out there. <laughs> so we're going to have to. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to fight them. Watch me forget they're there and get uh, Legolas and his army ambushed. I could see that being something I would do. Uh, Without questioning your journey down there. How closer are we? 
Oh, pretty Final. close. Let's bring our spy down here so we can keep an eye on this bandit horde. Approaching quietly. God. Ah. My, yeah, my MOS has been especially slow lately, and I can't quite determine the cause of it. Hmm. What do we need? I feel like we don't. What we don't need is more archers. Oh, we can already make stuff here. Okay, so we'll make some spearmen. And some more spearmen. So we just keep both holding the line. Eh, sure. Wait. No. Get these guys instead. Yeah, they've got uh, they've got javelins that just they just destroy shit. So. Mm, I think that's gonna do for that turn. So I'll see you guys once again on turn four. Yeah, no, not too much is happening, but it's gonna pick up soon. I'm pretty sure. All right, turn four, and we're back. We've already blown off one trade agreement with Dale. They were not happy about it. it looks okay, like the dwarves here are gonna try and make a stab at this uh, the this settlement right here. So we're gonna have to take it as quickly Destroy as possible. May start making a ram. Mm. And I guess maybe a ladder. Sure. Only we'll, we'll take a couple turns. Uh, they might be here by that time. But I don't think we're gonna have any face-offs just over this tiny little. Uh, fortress here so but what might end up happening is what usually happens in any case is that Dale likes to expand into the forest so I'm gonna try and move down and swoop uh, like scoop up as much territory as I possibly can because I don't want to fight Dale right oh, now I kind of want to Come use on. Dale and the dwarves as a buffer against rune until I can push Mordor out of the forest and then I can concentrate or I can decide where I'm gonna concentrate my forces after that so for now I would like to not Help. fight them I wonder if I can can I sneak out here? They will oh, not good. See us in the so forest. We'll get some volunteers. Augment our forces a little bit, and we're just about ready, I think, to take yes, on these bandits. We'll get our last unit in there to uh, assure our victory, yes, and then after that, yeah, we're going to take the fight to the bandits. We'll hopefully get to see uh, a battle this episode. As you uh, so far, it's a lot of maneuvering. From what I, I remember of my previous Sylvan campaigns, is that it's a lot of just getting into position and then. You know, once you get into, like, uh, min-games and uh, that sort of thing is when things start to get mad. Because right now we're pretty isolated. We're surrounded mostly by friends. Friends, figure quotations. I don't like them very much, but they don't really show any inclination to want to, f to fight me, so. Yeah, we don't really fight. We're not really uh, sitting next to any natural enemies. So, but I think that's going to do for the turn. Oh, no, what we should do is we should turn our taxes up there. Perfect. And we'll do the same there. Hopefully they don't rebel. What are we doing here? Eh, we'll do, can we pull that off here? Yeah, we can. All right, so I'll see you guys uh, next turn. And here we are again. Uh, so I'm thinking that our next target is going to be Aaron Dolan. Uh, come on, get over there. Go faster. Don't know why it's being so slow. Uh, mostly because it's an easy target because these orcs will just butcher these orcs. And I th think... Maybe it's this one. Maybe it's this one we can create mines at. Eh, we will be able to eventually in any case. Uh, looks like our economy is doing terrible, despite the fact that all of our settlements are set to uh, to high taxes. What do we got? What do we got here? Oh, I guess we're maybe we're building something somewhere. Ah, that's where all of our money went. Hmm. Uh, those units are fine where they are. Four more turns. I think we may have to uh, assault it. Yeah, we'll take some casualties, but. We have enough melee to overcome what little melee they have, and our archers are definitely much better than theirs, so that shouldn't be a terrible, terrible uh, fight for us. Uh, My lord. Hmm. How do we want to proceed from here? Um, we could just go straight down the line, just go from settlement to settlement, uh, reinforcing as we go. I'm pretty sure most of these have at least some elven culture as well they should. Yeah, this one has 52. So we can start producing troops pretty much immediately, at least from uh, the settlement and from this one over here. But I think it's time. Sire, time to confront this bandit horde. Yeah, that we seems like they don't want to fight. Too bad. Stay in the trees. What's his name? Horn. <laughs> Alright then. And he's got a couple of units of woodsmen and some hunters. A uh, night attack? No. Doesn't really... Oh, gets an extra star. I'm not going to do a night attack, though. Those things are just they are just disorienting and generally just not worth it. I have heard of you, if you have not heard of me. But perhaps you've heard of my good cousin, Radagast, who lives near the southern borders of Mirkwood. Everyone's favorite hippie, Radagast, who doesn't really do a whole lot in the books, unfortunately. He, um... Uh, he basically loves nature too much and just can't be bothered to do his job. Uh, get it, get a job, you hippie. 
Alrighty, so let's organize our troops here. Uh, yeah, I guess they're already in a formation more or less here than I want them to be. The one and you guys will all be these. Two. Yeah, they've only got a couple units of archers, and I'm pretty sure we outstrip them. So let's start taking some pot shots at these guys. Make them pay for daring to assault the forces of the Elven King Thrand Wheel, the rightful owner of these beautiful woods. Oh, they're not liking that. Yeah, we're kicking their ass. Hopefully they don't go into loose formation anytime soon. We can clear out the majority of them before they really become a threat. Also, they're getting mixed in with their Woodsman Light Infantry. Well, that's just going to make our job in melee even easier, isn't it? Yeah, there's a light formation. Or the, uh, loose formation. Let's just do it again. Stops time. I think that disappears as soon as we attack somebody, so we're not even going to bother. Oh, yeah. Let's check this out. So these are the Sylvan Volunteers. The, uh... And the uh, woodland swordsmen look like before they're upgraded, much lighter. Not uh, not quite so much mail. They've still got a little bit, but it's cloth over mail. But uh, you'll see what that changes into once the uh, once they get their armor upgrades. Uh, let's start shooting another general because we can. I'm pretty sure most of these guys have been eliminated at this point. Attack! We'll have these guys rush down here. Ah. Die! So yeah, we're going to move these guys up to protect the uh, the rear of these guys while these guys do their bloody work. I don't quite want to charge into those guys yet. Well, I just want I want to get close enough to make their, yeah, their archers retreat like that. Oh no, we've taken casualties. If we continue like this, we Deck. will smash the enemy. Oh yeah, we got this. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their yeah, men. some casualties here. Yeah, very hard. This is what happens in very hard battles. Is that yeah, you are gonna take, regardless of how good your troops are, you are gonna take at least a handful of casualties in any kind of melee confrontation. Yeah, shoot them hunters. After uh, after we route these two units here, we'll reform our lines. So there we go. Go. Yeah, they're dangerously exposed on the flank there. Run, save your brothers. Uh, those don't look like they're going to get there in time. Or maybe they'll get there just in time. Yep, there we go. And then we'll flank. We'll uh, get behind them and we'll hit them from the rear. Uh, you guys can stop that now. You guys can just rush into melee. We'll scare them a little bit. Seeing all the forces are ready against them, maybe we can route them a little quicker. Attack! Charge! These guys are not going to like that at all. <laughs> Ugh, I love it. It's just a practical joke that the rest of the unit plays on, like, the poor unlucky bastards in the front. We just let them all run to their doom. So it's like we're about to route the general here, which is going to see the end of the enemy army. We put all of our troops in there. It's just a big mess. You can see the very diverse the Sylvan army. army. The it's pretty cool. Attack! I want to kill all these guys, and then we'll then we'll, we'll call it quits. Let's take a look at our, our army in all of our glory. Blades drawn. Yeah, they're pretty fantastic, and they're going to look even cooler once we, uh, especially these guys, they're going to look even cooler once we start upgrading them. So, yes, we've crushed our enemy. They've been almost completely wiped out, just like maybe a handful of survivors. And that'll do for that battle. This is a so we're down three, victory. lost eight. Most of them were our... Yeah, in fact, all of them were our spearmen, so we've crushed our enemy. Hooray, our first battle is a victory. Under the boughs of Mirkwood, there was a deadly strife of elves and men. Hmm, like just now. And fell beasts. The breaking of the fellowship. So that is a fantastic start. And we can, uh... Could we bring up the rear here? Let's take these guys in there, I guess. Yeah, we can't really, we don't have anybody to make anybody else. And then we'll start moving Legolas and his troops onto here, so we're going to take this next settlement. But, 
yeah, and then we'll have a grand total of like five, yeah, five settlements, which is a good start. So that's going to do for the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, look for uh, probably some Westeros next, although there might be a historical battle. I haven't decided if I'm going to do a third age historical battle and start finishing up the mini series, or if I want to do something completely new and different and start playing uh, with, uh, with Call of Warhammer. So we could see some really cool historical battles for that. There's a ton of lore. So, yeah, I think that's going to keep that, that series going for quite a while. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I will see you guys later. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.